Angels, welcome to your own university. My name is Alicia Antica, and today we are going to be talking about what sets you apart from everybody else in the world. Are you ready? Yeah. So on today's episode of Your Own University TV, I'm going to share with you four areas of your life that you absolutely have to pay attention to. And if you ask anybody else, to make decisions in these four areas of your life for you or to even guide you in the right direction and you don't make a decision for yourself, you're gonna be thrown so off course that your life is gonna be more challenging to live. So I would like to just introduce you to yourself. Nobody can be the expert except you in these four areas of your life. So we're going to tackle them really fast today and as we go deeper into them I'm going to share with you here at Your Own University TV more and more about how you can crack the code in your own personal blueprint to live your healthiest best life ever. All right. So the first is your physical body, your physicality. Now this goes beyond just your your physicalness, this goes into your environment and everything like that, but we'll get into all that later. The first thing that you want to really decide for yourself is how to take care of your body. Everybody has different needs. We all have different intolerances, different dietary needs, different weights, so we need different amounts of water. We have different taste buds and we like different things. So how do you eat for you? We also have different schedules. You might work night shift or swing shifts. And so you need to figure out how you can eat to have the healthiest, most vibrant, beautiful body possible. Now I've seen extremely healthy people that some charts would say are obese. And I've seen extremely unhealthy people that some charts would say are in perfect proportion. So this is not about the medical charts. It's not about eating for somebody else. This is something that when I was in my 20s and I had cancer and adrenal failure, I had to learn how to eat for me in alignment with my body to really shift the entire landscape of who I am. And now at 43, I feel more alive and more vibrant than I ever did in my 20s. And I believe that we can do this over and over and over again, but it really starts with you dropping the books and you going in and figuring out who you are. The second area that only you can know yourself is, is your mindset. Now there's so much information out there about mindset and the importance of mindset and how you are, you know, think positively and manifest your world and blah, 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 la, 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 woo, 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 ha, 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 right? And yes, it's really, really important. But the thing is, is nobody had your childhood and your brain, your unconscious and subconscious brain, which does 99% of your thinking, 99% of your manifestation was formed between the ages of zero and 12 and really zero and seven. And you had a unique life. So understanding your life and looking at how your life was made up, what sensories were being put into your brain, what thoughts were being put in the brain, how are the how are the people around you thinking at that age is going to help you to decode who you are and then begin speaking to your unconscious and subconscious brain in ways that are going to help you get not only to where you want to be, but where you deserve to be in the most healthiest easy, effortless way. Because you, you run this, you run this contraption up here that really controls your whole life. And if you let it control you, it could be really bad. It could be really, really bad. So learning how to control your mindset and learning from a place of what happened when your brain was forming and how you can reprogram your unconscious and subconscious mind is super important and it's an inside job. The third place that is totally unique to you that also has to do with your upbringing but also has to do with 
what you were told to do with your emotions. Were you allowed to feel when you were a kid or were you told boys don't cry and don't be a sissy or or don't be a whiner, right? Don't don't want too much. Don't be greedy. Don't be selfish, right? Pretty girls, blah blah what you know, you know, you know, don't feel. We're often taught not to feel. Well, your emotional intelligence is what's gonna set you apart, especially in the workplace, from everybody else. It is how you lead. This emotional intelligence and how you process your emotions, how you act on your emotions, how much your emotions control you and how much you can control your emotions in the sense of letting yourself feel and be fully expressed as well as being observant of other people are going to help you stand out from everybody. People with higher emotional intelligence tend to make more money in the work field, whether it's corporate America or you're an entrepreneur or you're a coach like me and how we do our trainings at your own university. Like this emotional intelligence is key. But we've learned from David Hawkins and other people in his field that there are four quadrants of emotional intelligence and that our emotions carry vibrations and those vibrations communicate with the people around us. So tuning up and tuning into your own vibrational cords and then really turning up the volume a little bit on those more positive ones, turning down the volume a little bit while giving them a credibility by giving yourself permission to feel is going to help you be more successful in all areas of your life. And so that is our key here today. The fourth area of your life that you are in control of is your soul connection. Have you ever met somebody and you're just like, oh yeah, like it's just, it's on, it's just a soul connection. Well, this is your unique etheric vibe. You might have also noticed that you have an empathic skill. Some people might think that um, you're empathic, you're psychic, you have uh, in tune with your sixth sense or your you do some out-of-body experience and astral travel. This is that part of yourself that lives beyond space and time, lives beyond your physical capsule where you can imagine things, where you can create things. Um, from, from an idea into an actual concrete manifestation. This is your astral body. Some people call it your spiritual body. Either way, it's not quite that like essence of all is. It's not about your relationship with source or God or however you call it. This is about your relationship with yourself and your internal knowing, your intuition, your awareness, your psychic skills, your spiritual gifts. And there's many, many spiritual gifts and we all have them. So knowing how to utilize and recognize your spiritual gifts and how to use them in the world is going to set you apart again for that next level of clarity in your life, that next level of aha in your life that's going to make you stand out from the rest of the world because you're going to use them uniquely to you. Now, none of this stuff you can really get into a, in a book, but we have something at your own university that is going to help you explore all of this with our daily habit emails where in 10 minutes a day throughout the week, you just tap into these different areas plus relationships and success strategies to, to just find out more and more about you. And as you go through the next 365 days of awesomeness, what you're going to do is up level your life again and again and again. So all you have to do is go to yourownuniversity.com and sign up for our daily love letters. And what these do is gives you insight. So as you peel the layers of how to take care of your body beyond all the experts, how to take care of your mindset and how you tick inside, how to get in touch with your emotions and use them for deeper connections and how to know your psychic skills, know your spiritual gifts and how to use those to benefit the world. You are going to watch your life transform because you are going to be being you and quite frankly I believe that you are God's gift to the world so when you're you the whole world is a better place 
Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lisha Antica, and you can learn more about coaching with me privately at lishaantica.com or join our community at your own university. Make sure to hit subscribe, share this, make a comment, and turn on notifications because you're not going to want to miss the wonderful things that we have coming up.